Lots of people waiting in line downtown right now, hoping to be the first to place their bets on and in Cleveland tonight. This is a live look at countdown to the opening of the Horseshoe Casino Cleveland, and we've got about three and a half hours to go, as you see there. Good evening, everyone. I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. Good evening, everybody. I'm Leon Bibb, reporting from Public Square, right outside the brand new Horseshoe Casino, downtown Cleveland. Definitely gonna stand in line. I've been waiting for years for this. And to have one in Cleveland is awesome. We came early so we can get a closer spot. We wanna win that Monet. We don't have no gambling in Ohio. I'm glad after 100 years or so, we're finally having gambling. I wanna gamble. I will tell you that this day has been in the works for many years now. It took voters a long time to get approval for a casino in the state of Ohio. Then came the decision exactly where to put Cleveland's casino. A few bumps in the road along the way. And now they're just a few hours away from opening Ohio's and Cleveland's brand new Horseshoe Casino. And News Channel 5's John Kosick, my good friend, my colleague here at News Channel 5, has been following the story from the very beginning. John, this has been a day. Thousands of people have been waiting for this day. Historic day for sure, Leon. In three and a half hours, we marked the completion of the transformation of the $350 million renovation of the historic Higby buildings. And as you mentioned, 5 million people a year. That's what we expect to come through the doors here at the Higby. Some 13,000 a day. But on this day, they're going to limit it to just 5,000. So as we speak right now, those who hold a wristband, they can start lining up, able to do so at 5 o'clock. They're not lining up just yet, but the people on the other side of the building, the general public, they are beginning to line up because they want to be among the first here in the state of Ohio to say they took part on day one of the Horseshoe Casino Cleveland. We just heard a couple of those people at the top of the news now. They're excited about finally having the chance to have gaming here in downtown Cleveland. It will be a 24-7 operation and they're going to keep things on a down low in a sense so far as the numbers are concerned. It can hold up to 12,000 people but they want to keep the numbers down in the first couple of days to make sure the staffing is up to speed and Leon, they're going to have the full staff no matter, regardless of that, on throughout the night tonight into tomorrow because they know the first couple of days it's just going to be packed with wall-to-wall -wall people. John, you've been on this story since, as I said, since the very beginning. I got the you cleaning bills to prove it. It's a dust bowl in there. You were there when they put the hammer and the saw to the walls and started putting up new walls. And there were so many times, even before they, they, they closed it down, the operation did, before yeah. the, uh, the fight with the state over the, the, the taxes and fees, you wonder, could they get, get it done in time? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, within the last couple of months, it just really came together and blossomed and, and this place that once stood for such class and elegance and shopping is standing class and elegance again. Indeed. So this is day number one. We're getting ready to get started at 930. And they somebody never, rolls the and dice. never need a lock on the door. 24-7. <laughs> because seven. it's 24-7. That's right. <laughs> many thanks to John Kosick handling the story for us, and we are deeply appreciative of all the work that John's done over the many months covering this story. So the question is, what can the millions of yearly visitors expect when they step inside the 96,000-square-foot casino? How about 2,100 slot machines, 65 table games, and 30 table World Series of Poker Room. And don't forget about the food, including a 400-seat buffet, a food court, and two bars. But I want to tell you that the casino is expected to create 1,600 jobs for Cleveland. That's not just the casino I'm talking about. Going to be a lot of more jobs. The economic opportunities have a lot of people excited because there's going to be a ripple effect from outside the casino. Kristen Severance with our partners, the Ohio News Network, has talked to many people who are going to be profiting as a result of the Horseshoe cas uh, uh, c c Casino. Kristen, give us your thoughts on, on how this is going to make a ripple effect economically outside the casino itself. Well, Leon, you don't have to be in line or have one of these special wristbands to be excited about today. I spent the entire day, I talked to residents, I talked to business owners, I even talked to casino employees who came down here on their day off just to see what all the buzz was about. And you could really just feel the energy and the excitement surrounding this place. Like today, I was like, is it real? The day is here. It's opening. Like, we've been waiting for it. Jessica Plachko and Heather Kruger will be spending a lot of time inside Horseshoe Casino Cleveland. They'll both be working there as cage cashiers. I think it's a dream come true for both of us to be a part of this. It's yeah. just so surreal that we're opening. There are two of 1,600 new casino employees. The women and new best friends were not on the schedule Monday, so they came down to feel the energy and excitement. Excited about the journey that we're going to have with them.
Jack Abbott owns the deli across the street. I'm waiting for five years for the casinos open today. This is uh, excited today. He'll now be open 24 hours to hopefully attract some of the five million visitors the casino is expected to bring to Cleveland each year. Feels good, you know. I think I have a lot of people. The influx of people makes Cassie Stewart a little nervous. We've been here on the bus. Everybody happy is here. But like I say, we all worrying about the crime and what that's going to do to Cleveland. The 20 new police officers and seven traffic control cops added to downtown may ease Stewart's fears. Michelle Griffin has her own concerns. People are going to lose a lot of money coming down here, and some people might win. But all in all, the house takes it all. So. Casino officials say the house isn't horseshoe, but the city as a whole. I'm going to say, come to Cleveland and go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Museum. Come to Cleveland and watch your favorite team play the Cleveland Browns or the Cleveland Cavaliers. And oh, by the way, we have a casino here. And Leon, I wanted to just stick with economic impacts for just one more second. There was a study by the University of Cincinnati. It estimated that the economic impact just from the Horseshoe uh, Casino Cleveland could be $409 million. So everybody's expecting to get in on this and, 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 and get, make a buck or two along the way. Yep, they're hoping. We'll see how it goes. All Many right, thanks, thanks Kristen Severance of the Ohio News Network, sure. one of our partners handling that part of the story. I will tell you that the opening of the doors to the Horseshoe Casino Cleveland is not just significant find the end of a journey, really the start of a brand new journey. Listen to this one. I'm talking about phase two of the casino. That's the $85 million piece of land across Huron that sits across from the Q and Tower City and drops to the Cuyahoga River be below. It makes sense that phase two will take place since Ohio rules allow for 5,000 slot machines and the horseshoe only has 2,100. We have an initial design of that building. Uh, we wanted just to get open here, work out any kinks we have operationally, and then we'll be moving uh, full steam ahead on the design and, and planning of phase two. That's Dan Gilbert speaking. He says it's likely the expansion will have a different Caesars brand, so you can have a different experience visiting phase one, and later on in a few years or so, visiting phase two of the casino in downtown Cleveland. I will tell you, there is a great deal going on in downtown Cleveland tonight as we get closer to the grand opening of the Horseshoe Casino Cleveland. Doors open at 9.30. Still ahead on News Channel 5 here on the 6 o'clock broadcast, we'll get a behind-the-scenes look at how Cleveland police plan to keep folks in and around the casino and public square on the safe side. But for now, that's how it goes right here on public square. I'm Leon Bibb, News Channel 5. Let's go back inside for a moment. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Leon. Well, don't forget, you can watch our live feed of the scene outside Horseshoe Casino for its grand opening all night tonight on Newsnet5.com. And if you won't be near a computer, don't worry about it. You can check out our Newsnet5 app. I hope you can see this on your iPad or your mobile device. Let's see here. I'm no Vanna White. All right. So hopefully you can see this right here. You can go to your iPad, check it out. We have it for you there as well. And if you plan on heading downtown tonight, whether it's to check out the casino or otherwise, there are some road closures you'll want to know about. South Roadway between West Superior and Ontario is closed, as well as the curbside lane on Ontario between Superior and Prospect. Because of those closures, some RTA routes are affected. So everything should get back to normal for you tomorrow morning. Morning.